Maymay, and I always want to say it's your friendly neighborhood Maymay. <laughs> As if everybody has a Maymay in their neighborhood. I wish you did, that would be fun. Um, anyway, um, I have decided, lately I've been getting a lot of response from my um, Maymay approved and Maymay disapproved videos. I, a lot of people are watching them. So I thought what I would do is, um, not a series, but periodically I'm just going to bring out products for you guys probably on Wednesdays when we do the midweek minutes and I'm going to show you I'm, I'm going to call it stash it or trash it that's what I'm going to call it because we're either going to add it to our stash or we're going to get rid of it so I may or may not have more stash it's than trash or I may have more you know the opposite because I don't know what I just said anyway so I'm gonna get started I'm gonna start with stash this is stuff I think you should get it's awesome number one these six by six pads from simple stories they are amazing look at these papers I can't say enough about these I wish I had I'm gonna look for these in 12 by 12 this paper is gorgeous I'm gonna say this every time I see a chevron all right, I'm fixing to throw my Aunt Nita under the bus. <laughs> Every time I see a Chevron, I remember her telling me, I'm kind of over the Chevron, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's everywhere. But I mean, I understand what she's saying because it's everywhere. Like, every time I turn around, I see a Chevron. But I just think it's funny because now every time I see one, I think about that. Good job, Aunt Nita. Okay, so polka dots, the at sign, so cute and I got um four of these packs at Michael's and they were so cheap I paid like a dollar seventy nine a piece I think regular price is two ninety nine you cannot go wrong with these they are adorable okay so pick these up stash them <laughs> okay another stash product I really like this um Tombow tape runner I mean stamp runner which is interesting let me show you what it does let's see if this scrap paper will show it okay I'm going to turn this over because I got some glue on there. All right. So you have a couple of options here. You can roll it like your tradition, traditional adhesive. I don't know. Yeah, you can see that. See it right there? Okay. Or you can stamp it. And do you see that little square that it makes? See that? I don't know why <laughs> you would need to stamp it. I'm trying to think why you need to stamp it. I don't know. But I like it. I, I think I mostly like the weight of it. And I like how you can, um, you know, it's Tombow, so it's good adhesive. And I don't have to pull out my big ATG all the time. Now, it, it's not to, to me because it's a dot adhesive. It's not as strong as our ATG. But it's so cool. And you just want to run it. And it just fits in your hand so good. I don't know I really like it I, I think I got this at like TJ Maxx or something because I doubt I paid full price for it but um love it anyway so stash that okay let's see what's next I have several things um oh this is one of my favorites my new bone folder have y'all noticed it I did have somebody comment on it thank you for noticing my new bone folder y'all I paid one dollar for this bone folder at Walmart because my Walmart clearanced out all of their EK success stuff and look I bought three of them <laughs> because I love it and I thought you know they get gooey and nasty and over time you never know and for a dollar I'll never look they were five dollars do you see the price they were five bucks I got them for a dollar I bought three but here's what I like about it number one it's curved for your hand so when you're holding it or you're holding it like this, it just fits good. Number two, it swivels. So I'm going to do it on, look, it swivels. I just love that. And it's a point, but it's not so pointy that you rip all your paper. And the best part for me, love this part. Let me show you. Okay, so this has that adhesive. So I'm going to stick this down to it. And look, you can use this to smooth that adhesive or what have you. Um, it can go pretty flat or it can be pretty I love this bone folder if you can find it in your Walmart go grab it this is definitely a stash product so stash this one and it's EK success if I didn't didn't tell you EK tools okay I'm not sure where you'll find these I gotta be honest I don't remember where I found them I think it was TJ Maxx but I've had them for a while they are made by Fiskars or Fiskars depending on where you're from <laughs> and check this out okay they come with this cover 
these are very utilitarian. See how dirty they are? Because I use them for serious stuff, okay? So they come with this cover that has a sharpener in it. So you take the scissors and you put them inside. I'm not going to do it because it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. But you put it in there and you slide it as you shut them. Like you do it like that. And it sharpens them. And this, this is really neat. Like especially if you were taking them somewhere because look how safe that is. Now, here's the other cool part. It has a bottle opener just in case you need something open while you're crapping. Um, and then it has this serrated edge here in case you need to saw something. And look at this. These come apart. So you can clean them or what I noticed, and I'm not suggesting this because it's pretty sharp. As long as you keep your hand back here, you can cut with it too on something. Um, but don't put your hand up here because it's sharp on both sides. It has this cutout section. Do you see that at the bottom where it's kind of at a curve? Um, for wire or anything that you need to really get some leverage on. But I really, really love these. Now, I will tell you this. If you're a lefty, you're probably not going to like these. These are very right-handed. I mean, very right-handed. My mom's a left-handed person. That's why I think about that stuff. But um, so is Vince. But when you put your hand in, they curve around to this. And then this really holds your thumb. If you're left-handed, that is completely awkward. So if you're a lefty, I wouldn't even waste the money. But if you're a righty and you can find these Fiskers, I don't know what they're called. Hey, they have a serial number or something, BCO911, because it's an emergency to go buy these. They're good, so stash those. Next, look, oh, if you can get your hands on one of these, stash it. You need this. This Christmas is going to be so fun, making envelope minis, making envelopes for my own cards. This is going to be a lot of fun, so if you can get this, get it. And I'm just going to tell you something. This is a great bone folder. Now, I keep it with this one. I don't take it out because I'll lose it because I know how I am. But I just love it. And I think that this is the best tool. I really, really like this tool. I'm not going to say it's the best tool I have because it's not. But if you can find one of these, get one. Um, it even has a corner rounder and everything. So I just think this is really worth it. It's a I think right now you can get them anywhere from $19 to $25, and even some places have them less. So try to get one of these. Be sure you get one of the newer models that has the correct uh, numbers on here. So um, anyway, love it. you got to stash this one. Another stash product, score tape. Okay. I was on Blitzy. I've never tried a score tape before, but I was on Blitzy, and they had this roll, which was, like, out to here. No joke. It was huge. And they had, only had left was the eighth of an inch. So I bought it. I thought, well, two of those, it's a quarter inch, we're good. This stuff's amazing. And I think what I like best about it is I can tear it with my hand and not have to um, use scissors. And let me show you what I did. Okay. I'm going to give her a shout out. She's amazing. Her, uh, her channel is Velocity Vet 08, I think. She's amazing. I'll try to link her below so you can see it. But something she did that was so simple, I thought, why have I never thought of that? Here's how she does her adhesive. She puts her hand in it. She holds it like this. And then basically, her finger becomes the dispenser. So when she puts it down, she scoots it out a little bit, puts it where she wants it, and then rolls it out. It's it's just the easiest thing. You've got to go watch her. She does great videos. Now, I'm into long craft videos. Like, I could watch people craft for hours, and she does some pretty long videos, but I think they're great. Okay, so that's two stash it. you got to go stash Velocity Vet, and then <laughs> you got to get you some score tape. Um, I'm certainly going to buy so many more sizes of this. I'm going to go quarter inch, half inch, the whole nine yards, so stash it. Okay. Another thing to stash... And I don't know why I want you to stash this. Um, I found this at Dollar Tree yesterday. I haven't even opened them yesterday. But when I saw them, I thought, oh my gosh, look. The size of that bag. And it's a Ziploc. Well, well it's a, what do you call them? Zip closure, whatever. It's sealed shut. <laughs> what do they call them? Zipper seal bags. But look at it. And I don't know why I'm in love with it. But I am. Aren't you guys? Let me know if you're in love with these in the comments. They're so tiny. I don't really know how I would use them. I kind of see them like, what if you had an Oreo cookie that you decorated, like, I don't know, a, a face or something, and you put it in there, and then you did the little bag topper. 
I don't know. I just love them. And I, they look, you get 160 of them for a buck. And they were not in the crafty section of Dollar Tree. They were in, I think, the bath section. Because I remember going, oh, I love these. They weren't in, like, the kitchen section either. I was like, I love the size of these bags. And when I read it, they're called Crafter Square. But they weren't in the crafting section. But um, I don't know why I love them. I'm going to find something to do with them, and I will show y'all when I do. But you know what? If you're shipping earrings, that's really good if you have an earring business rings um to organize beads oh my gosh i'm in love with these so go grab you some i bought like four packs of them in case they went away because they're a dollar and you get 160 of them so stash these guys stash them stash them okay next on the dollar tree vein look at man i just got that dirty that makes me mad okay look at these white bags <sighs> they're so pretty now, they're the, they're the average size of, like, your craft-colored bags, but they're so white. And I was looking for something to finish the baby album with that I'm working on, the um, greeting card album. And I saw these, and I thought, oh, my gosh, I love the crisp white color of these. And you've seen the gift bag um, mini albums or the gift bag albums? I think I'm going to use this somehow on that um, that greeting card album, so be watching for that. But these were two for a dollar. And they're crisp white. They're just so pretty. You have to see them in person. They're really, really, really white. So stash these guys from the Dollar Tree. Love them. Okay, what else am I stashing? Okay, it's an oldie but a goodie. And I'm going to tell you why I'm telling you about it. This is a close to my heart Cricut cartridge. Now, there's a new cartridge out that I don't have yet that I want really bad. It's on my wish list. Um, and it is the new art booking cartridge. I just don't have 100 bucks right now. But I'm going to get it. I, the The money is worth it. I just don't have the free money right now. So I'm going to have to wait. But I'll show you this to tell you that I have the um, Art Philosophy cartridge as well as the Artis cartridge. And you will not waste a dime if you purchase these sets. You get three stamp sets with them. You get chipboard pieces that match the cutouts. You get everything you can imagine inside to help you make a project. And I just think they're amazing. I do not sell close to my heart anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. Um, not for any reason except I wanted to do my own thing. They still are amazing. So um, if you have not bought one of these, do it. You'll be so happy if you have a Cricut. You'll be so happy. You'll just be like, how did I live without this? I promise. So if you have the new one, make me jealous and leave it in the comments below because I love it and don't have it. Okay, another, um, this is a newbie for me and y'all are going to be shocked when I show you. I went to a card party with my Aunt Nita and Sheila McShay from She's a Sassy Lady and all of them were using this zip dry. And I'm going to tell you, I have seen other people use it like, um, my kids are home. Can you hear the banging? Um, oh crud. My Emma from My Creative Time, she uses it a lot. Like, she really loves it. And I had never used it before. Well, at the party, Aunt Nita had this bottle she had just purchased. And um, we used a lot of it. Me and Taylor went crazy with it. And then she gave it to me to bring home. And I love this stuff. It works really good. Now, listen. It's strong smelling. It's strong. I ain't going to lie to you about that. But... If you like a quick drying clear glue, this is a great one. The other thing is it's acid and lignin free. It's wrinkle free and it dries clear. It is, I mean, it has to dry clear. It is clear. Um, a tip for you, if you watch Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, you'll see, oh, it twists off. <laughs> you'll see that she has a paper clip on this little thing here. And what she uses that for is if it gets stopped up, she just takes the end of that paper clip and just puts it in there. So that's a good idea too. Zip dry. Check it out. It's good stuff. You need to stash it. All right, it's trash time. And I'm, I feel a little bad about this. Like, has anybody tried this Xyron Permanent Adhesive Glue Stick? Has, have y'all seen this in the store? Have you tried it? I saw it at Walmart and I thought, oh, that's neat. I like the shape of it. It's, um, see how it's shaped? The stick is shaped that way too. And I thought, I'm going to try that. That has to be neat. So I bought it. Well, it sat on my table for about two weeks. Really. It hasn't been that long. About two weeks. So I got it out last night because I was going to try it out. And look at this. Ugh. Do you see that? That's a nah. That's what Thomas used to say when he was little. 
I'm going to roll it up so you can see it. You put the cap in the bottom and look. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. And I'm going to keep ruining this piece of paper because I had this in the trash can already. Just look at it. It's not good. I don't think it should be like that. Maybe I got something bad. Um, I mean, th this part right here looks like fungus. Y'all, I don't know. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Don't waste your money on it because this it was sealed up in the package. It should not have done this in two weeks. There's no way. I'm going to see if it has an um, expiration date on it. No. What I thought was going to be cool about it is you can measure where it's at by this by where you roll it up, but I'm really disappointed. And look, it rolls down like lipstick and has this little lid, but anyway, this is my trash for this week. This is awful. I mean, would you want to use that? You probably don't even want to look at it now. It looks terrible. So, don't buy that one. Going in the trash right now. So, those are my stash it and trash it items. Let me bring them back over. I threw the trash away. There's the stash it stuff. Um, these things I really recommend, and they're and a lot of these are not new, really, honestly, they're not, but they're great products, and I just want to spend a few minutes every now and then telling y'all about some good stuff, so I hope that helps you whenever you're deciding to buy stuff, and um, maybe, I don't want to have any more trash stuff, but if I do, I'm going to share it with you so you'll know. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you Friday for a Freestyle Friday, and this week it's all about craft fairs, so talk to you soon. Bye-bye.